This is Children RGH and Smarter Day. Let's look at the vasoconstrictor versus vasodilators. So I had this question from a student who asked, I am not really understanding what's going on. What are the difference between those two? Let's look at the word. Constrictor means that it's going to narrow it versus dilator means it's going to widen it. Now, if you look at this picture, this is our normal blood vessel. Let's say it's this size, there's the wall, but when you inject a local anesthetic, it's going to go wider. The problem now, because it's wider, is that you're not going to have the local anesthetic, the drug chemicals to stay locally. They're going to spread faster all around your body, and that actually defeats the purpose of having local anesthetic because we want it to be effective in that one area that we are injecting. And also the second problem with a wider vas vasodilated blood vessel is that there is more blood coming out of the area. If you are doing a scaling and root planning, if you're doing a prophy, especially a periosurgery, you don't want the blood coming out. You want it to be as dry as possible. Now for those reasons, we put what's called an epinephrine or a levonodephrine. They are vasoconstrictors. They're going to make the blood vessel narrow again. Do you see this arrow? It is going to make the blood vessel narrow. Now, there are some benefits of that. And the first of all we said is that it's going to contain the look on the static more locally because that's exactly what we want. We want it to stay there. It's going to control the bleeding. And another really important thing about epinephrine or levonodephrine, which are vasoconstrictors, is that they serve as preservative. You know, everything has a shelf life. And, you know, like we have the food, we have the canned food that we have, local anesthetic too, they don't last forever. We want to minimize oxidation. That's why we put those vasoconstrictors in order to um, prolong the life of the local anesthetic. So this is what's happening. The normal blood vessel, it originally dilates, goes wider, but we want to constrict it again because we want to provide all those benefits. And I hope this makes sense. If you have any questions, my name is Claire. I'm the founder of Student RDH, Smarter DA, Dental Hygiene, and Dental Assisting Exam Prep Solutions. Thank you. Get up.